in this video i am going to discuss uh, about the maximum uh, clipping current maximum uh, clipping current or the uh, minimum short circuit current which is applicable uh, during the generation of tcc curves whenever we are going to uh, perform that relay setting and coordination so a lot of confusions uh, are uh, coming uh, regarding this maximum and minimum uh, fault clearing time so at uh, uh, whether we will uh, start the radio setting coordination from the minimum short circuit fault current to the maximum from minimum short circuit to maximum short circuit or what will be the maximum short circuit clipping current so in this video uh, uh, exclusively i am going to discuss with the help of tcc curve i will show you um, what's the impact of this uh, maximum and minimum short circuit current uh, so let's start here suppose this is this is a uh, simple uh, power system network we'll focus on that particular 6.6 kb this is 6.6 kb side uh, high uh, transformer this is the transformer step down transformer lv distribution transformer and this is high voltage side uh, relay this is high voltage side relay here i have uh, selected abb rdf542 plus relay and this is lb side okay let's uh, quickly create one tcc curve uh, considering this uh, this transformer high voltage side relay and this uh, transformer lb side relay let's quickly create that tcc curve you can see for from this tcc curve this is the this is the um, uh, transformer high voltage side relay and this is low voltage side okay that's fine now our point of interest is here here so it is clipped this uh, this um, uh, this curve this curve this is 51 51 and 50 those two those two are assigned here so if we turn off the 50 then the 51 looks like this and since we have activated this 50 as well and it is indicated curve block toc by ioc and combine for this level so it is blocking toc by ioc that's why it is blocked here now you can see here below this is clipped yeah so this is this is clipped uh, at 6.266 kilo amps at 6.866 uh, kb boldest level so this is clipped here so how it is clipping how it is uh, clipping if we go to the star view if we go to the star view here um, and here is the option in the right hand side you can see run update short circuit ka so this is for the clipping run short circuit and update tcc clipping current 3 phase and line to ground current so if you run this one if you run this one then it will clip then it will clip that one and let's check the motor uh, the start mode uh, study case editor here if we go to the standard here you can see this is short circuit current maximum so under this maximum short circuit current this is clipping so that's why if we go to the uh, relay relay editor here here is the tab tcc kiloamps go to this tcc kiloamps and here you can see three phase kiloamps three phase short circuit it is clipped at uh, this uh, it is clipped at 
6.27 coulombs at base kV and this line to ground kilograms 0 0.314 and base kV is 6.866 so that's why it is showing and whenever you are you are checking this one you are uh, you are checking this box and here TCC clipping current uh, what it will show in the TCC curve it will show the symmetrical RMS you can you can show also a symmetrical RMS here we are showing symmetrical RMS because it is required for the relay coordination purpose so it is showing the uh, three phase kilohms so this is the maximum 6.27 kilohms let's go to the curve yeah 6.266 kilohms that means 6.27 kilohms at 6.8 and double six kV so that's why it is clipping here that means this is the maximum short circuit condition beyond this beyond that it will not go so it will be clipped it will be clipped here okay that's fine we can understand the uh, device protection device coordination that should be done up to this maximum short circuit fault current once again i am repeating my statement because this is very important statement uh, as far as the protection coordination is concerned so we need to coordinate the protective devices up to the maximum fault current condition so up to here we need to coordinate with the upstream or downstream whatever may be the case that's fine but what is about the minimum short circuit what is about the minimum short circuit uh, current here can we show here the minimum short circuit current in this tcc curve the answer is yes we can we can show we can show how to do that let's again go to the start mode start mode go to this case edit, uh, this uh, study case editor under this standard standard tab here we need to select instead of maximum we need to select this minimum we need to select minimum accordingly the c factors will be changed if you can notice under this maximum c factor was 1.05 and 1.1 and here under minimum this is for lv 0.95 and for hb mb and hb uh, or hb and ehb this is one so we need to select only this minimum and then okay and now and now we need to run this run update minimum short circuit kilograms you can see the uh, uh, terminology has changed here run update minimum short circuit kilograms let's run this okay now we need to go this relay editor under this tab tcc kiloamps here calculated value so this is the maximum maximum uh, three phase um, short circuit maximum uh, short circuit current we, we have already seen and here it is here is the tcc minimum current symmetrical so tcc so if we want to show this on the tcc then we, we should check this box here uh, so this is 4.49 kiloamps minimum short circuit current and line to ground kilohms 0.285 at base kb 6.866 click ok ok now let's uh, go to the tcc curve once again here you can see this is the minimum short circuit it is showing here it is showing here so this is 4.485 kilohms at 6.866 kV 4.485 yeah 4.49 4.485 4 4.49 kilohms so this is showing this is the minimum uh, this is the minimum uh, short circuit current we can show in this TCC curve as well 
but uh, we should keep in mind that uh, that the protection coordination should not uh, start from the minimum short circuit current to maximum short circuit current the protection coordination should be done pro from from the uh, maximum continuous current from the maximum continuous current to the maximum maximum full load uh, sorry uh, the coordination should start from the maximum continuous current to the maximum short circuit current that means the relay should pick up below the minimum short circuit level once again because this is very important statement the relay coordination protection relay coordination should should start that means the protection coordination setting that relay uh, uh, relay pickup setting that should be below this minimum short circuit current and above the above the uh, full load current above the suppose this is transformer so above the transformer full load current considering some margin obviously uh, suppose 25 percent or 30 percent margin so that calculation already i have done the manual calculation and uh, using the etap software i have already validated in uh, separate videos you can check out those videos but here this is the basic principle whenever we are going to coordinate the um, protection devices we, that relay should pick up above the uh, above the equipment uh, full load current continuous current full load continuous current uh, that means below the short circuit current that should be the peak up and it should be coordinated up to the maximum fault level maximum fault current maximum short circuit current that means this minimum uh, minimum short circuit current is used to check the uh, relay pickup sensitivity not this is the starting point or the initiation point of the protective relay that pickup should be below the minimum short circuit current but oh, what's the purpose of this minimum short circuit current just to check just to check the relay pickup sensitivity so the relay pickup sensitivity or the selectivity that depends on the minimum uh, minimum short circuit current but the pickup should be below well below that minimum short circuit current and it should be coordinated up to the maximum three phase current so this is the basic principle of any uh, tcc curve whenever you are going to generate any tcc curve as a power system engineer and you are going to validate that protection coordination so this is the basic principle you have to keep in mind so this was today's topic if uh, i hope it's clear still if you have any 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 sort of doubt uh, regarding this uh, this basic principle then uh, then you can drop you can drop your uh, message in the comment box definitely i will come back to you